Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Happy Sunday, happy new year, happy new year. I really hope that you guys had a fantastic evening last night and you spent an abundant amount of time just really gathering yourselves and really reflecting and celebrating 2016 like yesterday's video um, was just sharing a lot of gratitude a lot of reflection hey Shakona when you guys pop in you know say happy new year to each other say happy new year and I want to hear it I want to hear you guys shout it really loud mash those emojis let's have some fun today because I want to share a little bit about new year's resolutions and I know that this is obviously a really big topic for everybody no matter whether you're in business whether you're in health and wellness whether you're thinking about doing some lifestyle goals and challenges you know resolutions is, is a topic at the end of our tongue it's on everyone's list of what they're doing but I have some twists for you and I have some tips for you that are a little bit unusual and that's just kind of how I roll I always try to add a mindset twist to it to really have it stick in us and really last for for the year because we already know the percentages. Most people don't even make it to day 15, day 20. Hey Renee, happy new year, happy new year Lisa. So when you guys are making your resolutions, um, there was a quote that I read and I'm actually gonna read it word for word because this was really profound and then I'm gonna dissect it and I have some tips about it and then I have um, a last wrap up. So it's kind of a three part today. But the come in from Tiny Buddha, it says if you focus on results, you'll never get change. If you focus on change, you will get results. Results. And I think that was Jack Dixon um, from Tiny Buddha. And what I really want to dissect that down into is when we focus on the results, you're never going to change. So, and I thought that that was really deep. That was pretty profound. It's because like, hmm, you know, kind of took my back up a little bit. It's like, really? But if you think about it, if we just focus on the end result, when you do struggle and you fall on your knees, you're going to beat yourself up and you're gonna try it again, but you're not stopping and reflecting and doing a little bit of change. You're not changing the tactics, you're just doing it again, um, and likely you'll fall down again, scrape your knees again, and you're not going to get the results you're gonna give up for that, right? So if we focus on the change, if we, if we know what those results are, but we're taking the time to focus on doing reflecting tweaking and doing the change that has to happen for those results and we stop beating ourselves up you know when we do fall down we just admit it address it put your head down say I'm sorry body or I'm sorry business or I'm sorry family and then moving forward but reflecting upon that change that's when those results are really going to come so that kind of leads me into some of the magic you know because there has to be some magic that comes from within the magic of our environment the people that we're associated with you know we need people in our lives hey Samantha thanks for the love you guys happy new year so when when you live in a circle of community and for me, that was the biggest thing. Um, I went in my years and months where I wasn't making any money, when I had no sales, I had no signups for months, um, a long, long time. It was this community of my brothers and sisters entrepreneurs that kept me going for a very long period of time until I managed to figure out this attraction marketing system and really get me rolling you know it wasn't about my product and my and my company or an ingredient it was about me and branding myself and giving value so when that when you're in that magic of community um, and you start thinking about the, the bigger things. So I want you guys to, hey Michelle, when you guys start with your goals and your resolutions, I'm gonna give you the twist at the end, but first of all, making sure that you, when you write it down, don't just think about it, because thoughts get lost, but when you write it down, it's when you actually read it as you're writing. And you know, I have books and books and books and pages and pages of notes. So write it down, because when you write it, you're gonna be saying it to your mind. When you're saying it, you're gonna hear it. When you hear it, you begin to believe it, and that's when things really begin to change. So I'm gonna copy that out into the comments, I promise you guys. But on top of that, on top of that, I really want you guys to think about um, the twist when it comes to re uh, your rev Resolutions, oh my gosh, I can't even, um, <laughs> I'm just so excited I can barely pronounce my words. Um, when you're making your resolutions, I want you guys to add um, to this, you know, because likely you've already made resolutions where, you know, you want a certain number of uh, sales, you know, a certain dollar number when it comes to sales. Maybe you have resolutions where you have a certain number of clients 
um, you've listed out, you know, maybe how many teammates you want um, for this month or even for this year. How many, um, you maybe you want to walk across stage. Maybe you, you've made some business goals along with your life and family goals and health and wellness uh, potentially. But those are things and stuff. And all those things and stuff that I just listed that are likely part of your business goals um, in part or in all of them is that they are people goals. Okay, those revolve around people and you connecting with those people. And of course, we know we connect with those two pe with those people by two ways, right? Either through marketing, where they're coming to you, or through prospecting, where you are going to them. And that's how we need to get our presentation, our opportunity, our products in front of people in an attractive way where we are not being salesy and chasey and pushy, where we have identified a pain and solution and problem and struggle. And through relationships and friendships, we can therefore um, provide those solutions to their pains and struggles. So when that happens, um, you need to be able to make sure that you are taking in that additional time. So tip number two is realizing that as people, uh, and the second part is making sure that you are budgeting time and have it planned where you are um, evaluating, where you are reflecting and you're tweaking and you're adjusting um, your daily, um, weekly, or monthly goals of what you're doing toward your resolutions within your business um, yourself. So th that's the things of making sure you're re re reviewing. Because when it comes to prospecting and when it comes to marketing, it can be very, very simple when it's done in, a, in an attractive, easy um, way. You know, as you guys know, I that's how I went from being super stressed, um, you know, and battling so many health issues to becoming very blessed within my business. So I did promise you guys that I would give you some dates for my upcoming uh, To Stand and Shine online um, webinars. So I've hammered out the dates because I know it's really important to you guys. If there was a way that people would come to you for your products and your opportunity and service, if there was a way that you didn't have to chase your friends and your family, um, if you knew how to step forward and become that authority um, and that leader within your business, you guys would want to know. So that's why I'm putting this on. I'm going to have it for January the 5th, January the 6th, and January the 7th. Yes, I will be having it in the daytime and the evening for my UK mummies and my European friends over there. Uh, same thing, I'm going to have dates and times to cover us over here on North America so we can make sure I've got, you know, evenings, you know, if moms can make it in the evening, great. If you're a daytime mummy and daytimes only work for you, I'm going to make sure I've got like the two different, you know, major time zones covered, you know, UK and Euro in North America and I'll have night times and daytime slots available for both. So I'm actually got the other laptop going and I'm hammering out the, the invitations. You guys are going to see them on my fan page um, and shortly I'll make sure that it's linked above. It's at, at Roxy Lynch and you make sure you go to my fan page, you like it, you turn notifications on because that's where you're going to see all the good stuff. So I have so much amazing things coming for you guys in 2017. I cannot wait to share um, as I learn, I do and apply and then I teach it all forward so you guys get the goodness and it's all for you. I'll talk to you guys on the sunny side of life tomorrow. You guys take care. Keep your eyes out for those webinars. They're coming right quick. Bye guys.